So you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In the next five minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to format a complete book to Amazon KDP standard. All right. So that you can protect your book from being banned by Amazon when you upload. However, if you are an old subscriber coming back to this channel, thank you for showing up to watch this video. But if you are seeing this video for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can always get notified each time I upload a valuable video like this. All right, so follow me as I walk you through the process. So the first thing we want to do is to open the file from file manager. So I'm going to open this um, file from file manager. I saved it with the title personal finance book. All right. So this is the book right here. So you are going to open it with Google Docs. All right. This um, app right here. So if you do not have the app, ensure to download it from Google Store if you are using an Android smart. OK, so the first thing we are going to do is to save this file um, on Google Docs. So after save file, then commence the formatting process properly. So to save this file, click on this image icon with the plus up here. So I'm going to click on this. Click on edit with others. Then click on save as Google Docs. Meanwhile, ensure that your internet connection is intact. Ensure your data is on because this process works with data. All right, now the document is saved on Google Docs. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on this pen icon, this blue pen icon at the bottom right. So click on this. All right, then click on this um, icon at the top right, this dot icon. Yes. All right, now the next thing we want to do is the page setup. So click on page setup. Now take note. Um, most books on Amazon, um, Kindle, whether paperback or, you know, regular KDP, they are usually six by nine. All right. So we are going to change the size to six by nine. But then there's no six by nine here. The closest to six by nine is 5.83 inches by 8.27, which is A5. So we are going to click on A5. So click on A5 and then click on this return arrow up here by the left. All right. Good. The paper size has changed to A5. So click on this arrow again. Now take note, ensure to always save whenever you edit or format your book so that you don't lose the file, all right? So you always click on that icon to save. Then come back to edit again, click on this pen icon. Okay, good. Now click on this icon up here, the three dots up here. Now click on print layout so you can view it properly. All right, good. So this is nice. It's already displayed in the book um, format instead of the regular A4 style. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do right here is to break the pages so that they can move down because you cannot um, have your work jam-packed like this. So each of the sessions have to be on a page. Okay. So I'm going to um break the page for copyright so that the title page can be there besides the cover page okay so to break the page click on this plus icon right here scroll down at the bottom here so you see page break so click on that click on page break then you have a new page right here good okay so we'll move down again Table of content has to be in a new page. So click on that same icon again. Now, as you can see, the icon is not showing. So what you need to do is just drag your screen down a bit. It will come out and then click on the plus sign. Scroll up at the bottom here. Click on page break. All right. So this is a new page for table of content. So let's go to the chapters one after the other. Okay. First of all, introduction. So scroll your screen down click on the plus icon come down here click on page break all right this is a new page good come to chapter one this is chapter one scroll down okay 
So you are going to do this for all of the sessions, okay, from chapter one to the final chapter of your book or any parts you also feel should be on a different section for easy readability and understanding because you're writing for your readers so you have to make sure it is easy to read okay so this is chapter two so i'm going to click this again the same process for everything now take note the time it takes to format your book depends on the volume of the book all right if you have a small book then shorter time if you have a voluminous book then it should take uh, a couple of minutes but within a short time it should be true all right so click on this again all right so that's chapter three so basically you are going to do this for all of the chapters okay so now click on this um sign here this blue tick sign at the top left to save all right good now the next thing i'm going to do is to edit the headings the headings all right so let me start from the title page i'm going to start from the title page now first of all i want to change the entire write-up font style you see that so select the entire document click on this a icon here this icon good now the style is normal text but i want to change it to times new roman so click on this then i'm going to look for um uh, okay it's title sorry this is font so it's on calibra so i'm going to look for times new roman so go to t yes i like this way it's very sharp and neat times new roman so once i change that i begin to work on the headings one after the other okay so it has changed so click on this arrow to return back then the entire write-up should be at least 12 yes at least 12 the entire write-up so before we start working on the edge. okay so once we do that then we can proceed to the next point all right so click on this good sign to save okay good click on the document again so as you can see wow this is looking very neat very nice so click on this icon again so if the display is too wide simply drag your screen with two fingers to return to normal size so i'm going to hold this and select the title i um the title page rather or the write up on the title so click on this icon again now i'm going to increase the size okay so click on this um icon facing up on this rule of size so if you want to reduce it click on the left to reduce it so this now i'm going to take it up up so let me take it to um let's see 24 okay all right i think 24 is okay we have to increase that more let's see okay let's leave it at 30 all right just play with this um app you can always get something very nice all right good so now after that the next thing i'm going to do is to centralize this title on this page okay so to centralize all you simply need to do is come here and click on this icon at the middle point here at this midpoint click on this icon yeah then click on the second one to centralize all right so i think this is nice so click on save all right all right all right come back again so i did this good so i can make this bold so to make this bold just click on b so it becomes bold all right good so the next thing i'm going to do now is to work on the other headings so you can move this down to somewhere at the midpoint all right good so you can leave the copyright page like that copyright page is always okay that way okay so because i moved this some of the pages moved so let me 
let me clear it back let me clear it by one and see okay but then if that's the case i can come here and move move it back to the previous page oh now if you if you make a mistake it's very simple you see these two icons one facing left and the other right at the top here you can always go back to your previous um um edit so click on this you can if you want to push it again then you can do the same okay so let me move this down i think the font is so large that's why i'll take it to the middle all right so let's see that again everything should be okay so i'm gonna clear this page good all right all right okay now the next thing you have to do is to start working on the various headings okay so the first heading i'm going to work on right here is the table of content so just all this highlight all right now you can start from whichever point maybe increase the font size first of all so let's take this to 14 let's make it 14 then click on b to bold this is bold already okay so click back and then click on this icon to centralize good so the next thing is to work on introduction do the same thing for introduction you can centralize first of all so there is no you know one way fits all so you can always centralize then increase font size and then make it bold as the case may be all right good so we'll go to chapter one and do the same thing for chapter one all right centralize make it bold and then increase font size to 14 all right good so save this right here so you are going to do this for all of the chapters okay all of the sessions as many chapters that you have now look at this wow this is so so nice so nice right good if you are enjoying this video and you are getting so much value kindly click on the like button and drop a comment below let me know that you are getting so much value from this video and also if you are here to subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get the next video I'm going to upload on how to design the cover page before we finally upload this book. All right, so let's quickly finish up. Now, you cannot leave your book this way. It's still jam-packed. So I advise that you break, not necessarily break, just move um, some of the bulky words to a new paragraph, right? Now, so I'm going to move this. Good. So it's looking easy to read now yes good so let's come here now and move this to another paragraph so everything will look so smooth all right all right very nice so let's come here and move this down good come down here again move this down to another paragraph so come down here again move this down to another paragraph now in short we just take your time to do a very neat job so that when people look at your book on your amazon kdp store then they can easily buy it just at once okay so after adjusting that click on this good sign then you have saved the file already okay so let's come back now and include page number to this book so let's include page number to this book so you are going to click on this plus sign all right and then scroll down so this is page number click on page number all right now i like to use this last one here the last one at the right extreme because the first page is not going to have a number so from the second page it can start counting so i'm going to click on this and then just preview it so let's preview it to see if that has worked all right good so this is page one very nice now take note this is the title page there's no number right there so this is page one this is page two this is page three page four introduction is page five and so on like that 
all right so now you can click on save good so ensure to do this for all of your book before uploading them on amazon kdp all right so once you do this the next thing is to save all right so let's save this file right now now to save your file take note it is best to save your file using pdf okay it is best to save your file using pdf so click on this icon up here and then come to share and export okay now take note this app can do a lot you can also check your spelling if there are any errors you can click on spell check it's going to show you a lot of if there are errors maybe some words are not necessarily consistent now if you look at this now it says personal loans and installment debt are often used to finance larger purchases and consolidating other debt now it says change to large purchases which is also proper you see it will take you to the next one so as the case may be you can always work that there is a lot and sure to just play around this editing app okay to get a very nice format for your book so very quickly let's save this book click on this pen icon again all right so reduce the screen now click on this icon up here now click on share and export share and export now click on save us good so you have a couple of options to choose from but i advise you to choose pdf yes you can use pdf to save your file and upload as kindle all right you know what kindle is um the the book people just go on amazon to buy soft copy and then to read it right there or they can purchase it to their smartphone or their device but then for paperback it's the normal printed copy so pdf works for both kindle and then paperback as well as artback so now click on ok so we can save this as a pdf file okay so we just allow this to load now usually um it may take you off maybe online and then you have to take it back again and then download the file properly okay so we'll just allow this to load allow this to load okay it's loading right now and then we can have a preview of the book wow 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 i believe you're getting so much value wow this is so nice look at this wow so i'm going to click on this download icon here click on this so it can download all right so it is it, just routing online it's going to come back again so that the file can be properly saved okay so drop a comment below if you want me to do a follow-up video on how to design a cover page for this book so that it can help you prepare a complete book for you to upload on your amazon kdp account all right if i get up to 10 comments saying um please do a video on how to design a book cover page then i will proceed to do all of that now it's just going online and and all of that so what we're going to do now is to let's go to file manager to search for that file okay so let's go to file manager all right personal finance all right good so this is the pdf file so click on that and let's open it to see wow this is so beautiful now look at this this is so nice all right all right wow 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 so this book is ready to go live on amazon kindle store ready to go live okay so I believe you've gotten so much value from this kindly subscribe to this youtube channel right now click on the notification bell so that by the time i create the video on how to design the cover page for this book as a follow-up to this particular video then you will get the notification immediately i upload it and then you can watch it and then if you know someone who needs this video ensure to share this video to your friends 
share this video to your family especially those people who are looking forward to you know starting their amazon kdp journey all right thank you so much see you in the next video ciao